Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. This will be for around the 19th of May 2022 for all signs. Okay, so as always it may or may not resonate with you, you decide what resonates. And remember these readings can resonate a few days longer than when they are released. We have listened to your intuition, key. Something so small that seems so simple, yet our intuition is our connection to spirit, God, the universe, through dreams, can also be that inner quiet voice within us that we really do need to listen to. A lot of us are so busy with our external environment, we, we are challenged sometimes to go within and really trust our intuition and our instinct or connect to that. So you're being asked to really listen. With that, we have... Be assertive, maybe in how you assert yourself, how you respond, how you take action, how you deal with something. You have to listen to your intuition here. And a message of just don't act for acting's sake. Don't just have that knee-jerk reaction. This is the energy of really listen to your intuition first. Okay, what do we have for the day, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for the day. Thank you. We have the Three of Cups, celebratory energy. Communication as well. With that, we have the world. We've got the King of Wands, can be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, male or female, or the energy of the card. In general readings, it really can be anybody, any sign. It's somebody, a person of action, empowerment, uh, assert very assertive energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. Underneath that, because it was peeping through, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So it's an energy of, for some of you, listen to your intuition. It could well be in terms of how you take action, take the lead, take control, um, how you are assertive, because the King of Wands will absolutely go for something, doesn't think twice, uh, but is experienced, you know, is quite an experienced, you know, achievement energy. So I do feel in this energy letting experience be your guide as well in how you take action listening to your intuition because there's a strong energy with these energies it's your time to receive the six of pentacles can be spirit working through people and situations to give you what you need to rebalance those scales meaning that those scales may have been imbalanced in some way and this is almost kind of like spirit coming in to rebalance those. To say it's your time to receive in order to bring balance back to a situation here. Now, this feels monetary. It could be a sum of money for you. It could also... So somebody needs to take action or is thinking about taking action. And there's a feeling here of... Either a balance in terms of a fair offer, opportunity, sum of money, business, career, assets, jobs. It could be something that restores balance or a, a balanced share of that. If it's a divisional thing of how you're dividing up something, some sum of money, it feels getting your rightful share is what I'm getting. So the Knight of Pentacles can be a sum of money. It can also be to do with job offers, business opportunities, um, contracts. It brings abundant change, but it does take its time to appear. It feels in this energy here, there's a strong energy of balance being restored.
either job area, business opportunity, or a sum of money. This can be linked to the conscious world, the practical world. So money, career, finances, property, assets, combination of those, one of those. It's an energy of you're getting what, you're, what you deserve, what you need. Now, sometimes what you need isn't always what we want. That's the caveat with this. We have the Three of Cups. It feels you're more than happy with it because there's going to be celebration here. This is reasons to celebrate, uplifting energy. I mean, it just feels the energy of, of joy. Let's have a party. Let's celebrate. Because there's a real reason to celebrate here. We have the world card, which can be successful outcomes, goal achievements, winning, victory, celebration again. Two lots of celebration here because someone's getting an abundant change, it feels. I mean, it's a lovely energy. So it might well be for some of you, assertion is needed right now. I'm going to pull a card for assertiveness. I'm going to pull a card for each of these. Clarify, be assertive. We have the star because this is an energy of, it feels in this energy, there's a reason to be hopeful. This is about wish fulfillment, blessings. Because a wish can come true, be assertive because you're going to get what you want. This is a time of taking action. To get some positive monetary outcome here. Victory, celebration, win. Clarify. This can also be to do with promotions as well. Clarify the listen to your intuition. We have the Page of Wands. Now, this can be also a card of assertion. Um, the Page of Wands can be about spontane spontane spontaneity, um, taking action. It might well be that there's a level of this, but this can also be good news. Good news, and it can be to do with an opportunity or good news. Good news to do with a new beginning. But you might actually feel that now is the right time to take action in order to get this. Intuitively, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go take this, I'm going to go speak to this person, or I'm going to go do this because I feel it's the right time to get, because I'm hopeful, because it's looking good that now's the right time for me to really get my wish. Yeah, I feel this is an energy of action, good news, sensing that there's good news coming as well, listening to your intuition. If you have been assertive, there's an energy of you're reading the situation well as well. Maybe there's good news coming your way. It just feels that energy for some of you. This is either now's the time to take action because there's hope in this. Or for others of you, it might well be you're just reading the situation well and you, you know there's there's a reason to be hopeful and optimistic and it might well be some level of assertion is needed just to just to kind of like push it to a win a victory a success it just feels this energy it's really beautiful that's what I have for the day either way you look at it it's lovely it's spirit telling you pretty much regardless of whatever situation this is it's your time to receive Okay, final message for the day. And there's celebration and joy attached to some kind of successful outcome. We have moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthily, although the fairies say a little bit, little bit of what you fancy is fine. Could have been moderate energy you were dealing with and you needed to just keep on being assertive. 
We have tree wisdom. This tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. Yeah, and protection, yeah, definitely protection because it's pretty much spirit telling you, yeah, it's your time to receive. We have the fairies of playfulness are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. It's a lovely reading, really beautiful. The world card is major, 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 major arcana, big energy, huge energy. It's right in the center of this reading and it's an achievement energy. Lovely. I hope, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I will see you next time. Thank you.